everybody, it's Tony George along with Sean Salisbury. Nobody I'd rather ring in the 2021 <laughs> college football season than my good friend, Sean Salisbury. And of course, uh, we won't hold it against you, Sean, that you're a USC guy. I won't hold that against you. Yeah, I'll tell you this. Why don't we have a little side wager, my friend, that my Trojans win more games than your Cornhuskers. Right. Why don't I just why, why don't I just FedEx you a thousand dollars right now and call yes. it even? You may, you may just take that and part while you're out there in Vegas. Just go bet it on some of our unders and overs for me. Take that cash and go put it and save the ticket for me, and uh, I'll collect my money at the season's end because uh, I love your. You know how much I love Scott Frost and the Nebraska yeah. history, but I got news for you. You don't have to hold it against me uh, with my Trojans because we will be kicking your ass if it ever came to that. Okay. Oh, I stay am, right where I you am, are. You don't don't waltz out to the Coliseum, brother. You don't want any part of that right now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want to somehow limp into a bowl this year and end up with a third or fourth place, fourth place USC in the, you know, pool and weed eater bowl or something well, and get beat. Well, 50, yeah, we, we ain't. Go, we're not. We're not going to El Paso to play in a bowl game this year. Just so you understand. <laughs> oh, nothing I, against El Paso, but I, if that bowl game hits, I always say it yeah. pre December twenty eighth. You haven't had a good season for the most part if you're the Trojans yeah. if you're playing in bowl game in mid-December. There you go. That's that's true. Well, we'll take one at Nebraska. That's what we're talking about. Nebraska on the road here uh, travels to Illinois. Uh, Brett Belema uh, takes over the Illinois program. Lovey Smith out. Uh, of course, he was the ex-Wisconsin coach. A lot of success up in Wisconsin. Uh, did not have a good run down in Arkansas, including some problems with the the boosters and fans weren't a big fan of his either. There was a lot of stuff going on down there. That's all water under the bridge. He's back in the Big Ten coaching. He inherits a team with 15 starters here. A team that beat Nebraska. By the way, the line Nebraska 7 and total 55. And, Sean, a couple of things jump off the page at me here. Uh, number one is Nebraska's on the road, and number two is Nebraska's favored seven against anybody on the road, and against a team that they got beat by as a big favorite last year in Lincoln, forty-one to twenty-three. Now Lovey Smith won two games last year, and it got him fired. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, I don't, I don't quite buy into this line. A lot of people have Nebraska power rated very high, but. Um, Adrian Martinez, a quarterback for Scott Frost, has been a human turnover machine. Um, and you got, matter of fact, in my opinion, I think Brandon Peters might be the best quarterback in this game. Uh, Three-year starter. Uh, this guy transferred, as we all know, from Michigan. One of Harbaugh's boys came over. Um, he's a dual threat. Um, and the one thing I think Belimo will do is the same thing he did at Wisconsin. He's going to pound the rock. And they've got four running backs in their stable, three of them. One had almost 600 yards, the other two almost 400 yards last year. They went through rotation. They have all five offensive linemen back. Um, I think it's going to be a tough test for Nebraska, Sean. It is. And a line like this, what do you, Tony, I know the NFL, are they still, is it still protocol to give a three points on a, the home team getting three? Uh, just uh, as as a basis, you know, is are, are they um, is college the same way? And when you deal with it, and, and then I'll get to my point. Like you know, in the NFL, if you're getting if you're going on the road, you're a favorite. It, it starts at you're getting a three point. You're you're giving away three points. So pretty uh, much, I mean, it, it it depends. I, I would say te okay. teams like Seattle and Kansas City, uh, New England all get three, but somewhere between two and three. Uh, okay. In college, so, in college, not so much, but I would say two to three points in this particular game, the way Nebraska's played on the road. I mean, how could you? I mean, in Illinois, home opener, new coach, everybody's fired up. It's definitely worth at least two points. Okay, so with that in mind, if it flipped and it was in, you know, in Lincoln, mm -hmm. this would be, what, about a 10, nine and a half point type game, right? Ten point game. Mm -hmm. if, you, if, if you switch the, where they were playing. Yep. So for me... And I think the last two times they've been in Champaign, Nebraska's beat them. So they 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 yeah. do play well in Champaign on the road. And it's not a bad thing, Tony, to start your season on the road because a lot of teams start out and you know Scott Frost's under a little fire, even though I mean the Nebraska's catching a little flack and 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 Scott's a, uh you know he's a a fair-haired guy there and I love him and I want him to turn it around. 
But you know what happens at home in an opening game when you, if you struggle against the team you're supposed to beat? You know how the home crowd. So it's kind oh, of yeah. sometimes going on the road ain't a bad way to start, honestly. And yeah. so for me, and Bielema is going to try to run it. Here's the difference between Illinois and Wisconsin. Well, I know he'll try to run it. Those, those, even though they've got a bunch of returning starters up front, those hosses up front are a little bit different at Wisconsin than Illinois. Illinois yeah. will usually end up on the, on the. You got to do it. Listen, when Ron Turner was a coach, I did games there for ESPN, and they they recruit. Not that they don't recruit good players, but they, they're a little undersized compared to what you're used to seeing in the Big Ten. It was when Ron was there, and Bielema will go get some big fellas, but that's what he bases it on: a little play action. He doesn't want to throw it 40 times a game. Wants to run it, wear you out, limit your possessions. Well, it's time for Adrian Martinez to live up. Hell, he played better as a freshman, right? Yeah. Return, I mean, he, he did. He has, and now it's his what fourth year. It's time for him to start matching what 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 we expect from him and Scott Frost offensively. This line does concern me, but it it also makes me think. I initially, when I saw this line, say Nebraska's boat racing him, honestly, because I can't imagine that Scott's going into this like. Take, I would imagine they're treating this like they're playing Ohio State, honest to God, considering what they need to do and to jump out quickly. And I, I also, the, the number, I'm looking at the number and I'm thinking, well, it's 55 points starting the opening game. Defense may be ahead of offense at this point. There's a lot of things to consider, but, and you might be right about the quarterback at Illinois, the best quarterback on the field. Martinez has got a lot to prove. Nebraska's the better team. I'm anxious to see if away cooking makes them feel a little bit better where they're not worried about the home crowd, even though you like playing at home, Tony. This is an interesting one. I'm curious to get where you are. I know where I'm leaning, but you're the Nebraska guy, so I'll give you uh, carte blanche to go off on that at first, which one you're leaning to more. But I, I, I'm not just choosing this based on name, but Illinois is not a good football team. Bielema is trying to fix that. Well, one thing that I can tell you is it's going to take Illinois about a half to kind of get settle down under a new system, right. uh, this, that, and the other. Nebraska's got, I think, all 11 starters coming back on defense. And they got a bunch of starters on offense. They have a very capable quarterback that that four years ago, everybody thought was going to be the Justin Fields of the Big Ten. Agreed. I mean, his, star. his freshman year, this kid came out. I thought, here we go. We got Tommy Frazier Jr. Here we go. 1994 all over With again. a better arm. At the time, we yeah. thought in a better arm at the time, right? Yeah. So that being said, I think Nebraska has the more veteran team in terms of being entrenched in a system. So I bet the first half line here, Nebraska around four, you know, and just play the first half because Illinois may get their feet underneath them the second half. And the one thing I'll tell you that Scott Frost has been consistent on, which concerns me slightly and, uh, I'm, I'm a Nebraska alum, but he has not been able to close out games as a head coach. They have turnovers and penalties, and they have plagued this team since the moment he stepped his foot on campus. And I love Scott Frost, and I lobbied for him, and, and we want a Nebraska boy in there. We got Trev Alberts now. You remember Trev Alberts? When he, he's our yeah. AD now. We, we got him in there, and he's – He's given Frost the vote of confidence and uh, boosted the team a little bit here. I think Nebraska has a little bit more forward momentum, at least coming into the game, Sean. I think they'll probably maybe get up a touchdown at halftime, but I'm not going to lay a touchdown for the full game with them simply because I don't think they – until they can close the game, either, and not even just on the road, Sean, at home. Uh, right, until right. they can and close the game out and convincingly and not – completely kill themselves, uh, shoot themselves in the foot in the fourth quarter every game. That's where I'm at with the first half of Nebraska. Here's what I'm leaning towards. You mentioned, and it was my next point, too, is about a veteran defense. Early in a season after you've gone through camp, Tony, and another team's learning a new system, they're going to – you mentioned the first half, but you're feeling your way around. Okay, do I make this throw? Do we protect the quarterback and run it a little bit more? I'm actually also thinking that, that Nebraska's defense is going to step up and play well in this game. So the under seems to, and, and their offense is still trying to find their way, meaning Nebraska with a veteran quarterback, but they've got some stuff to find out about themselves. I'm leaning under, but I'm going to tell you this. You talked about the first half. I'm going to say a veteran team that is has to play urgent. Bielema, his first year, so there's not high expectations. Uh, Nebraska, they are for Scott Frost. We're going to finally see an opener 
where Nebraska looks, I mean, looks like closer to Nebraska. You won't see the full thing. I'll take in Nebraska in the full one. I like this game by a touchdown and a field goal or close in that 7-10 to 10 range. I'm going to say they're able to close this game out. Go in Illinois. They feel good playing on that road. Defense will be the difference. Force a few turnovers. I think Nebraska, this is like a 27-17, uh, 27-14 uh, 20, you know, type of game. But it'll be a little closer than that. I, I, I like Nebraska in the game. And I don't think either team will be explosive yet. Nebraska's defense will make the difference. They win and win by uh, more than the points. Well, cheers to you. And now I'm going to send you a smoked turkey for Christmas since you didn't fade my beloved Huskers in the opening week, Sean. I Never, appreciate brother. that. And part of it's emotional. I love you and I love my guy, Scott Frost. So I'm pulling. But, you know, also, and Tony, we talk about the NFL and when teams are better. And I really believe this. You know, my guy, Mike Riley, was the coach for a while, one of the sweetest and he co I love Mike, and unfortunately it didn't work the way he wanted, but you know, it's about, you gotta have players too, and the Big Ten's a little different than other places, right? You gotta be physical in that conference. But I, I am a, football's better when Nebraska, those, when, when they're better, they, it just is. I know people say, well, yeah. they're no longer, a, a, that, that it's a blue blood program, but they're no longer dominant. Well, everybody's gone through it at some point. Even Alabama went through it, you know, when their transition before Nick Saban. Southern Cal's been through it. Notre Dame went through it with Charlie Weiss and Ty Willingham. We see it in a lot of places. Nebraska's been going through it for a while. They're not a national title type contender, but I can't fathom that Nebraska's not going to find their way back to where we're saying go big red. And that on yeah. Saturdays, you're looking forward to their games. I like them this week. There you go, folks. I'll take the first half. Sean will take uh, the whole game on Nebraska and he got. He thinks the under 55 is a little tasty as well. So you got a triple dip for your opening free play. Catch Sean, iHeartRadio, the Sean Salisbury Show, on Twitter at Sean Unfiltered. Catch me at Doc Sports this college football season. I enter my 30th year. Docs enters their 50th year in the business. Thanks for tuning in.